Well, this is the uh, pickup winder I've been working on. It's a prototype patterned after the Shatton pickup winder uh, that Stumac sells. Uh, this is a wooden box made out of half inch thick MDF board. Um, it's already been painted. I had the back on it and uh, just took it apart so I could put the guts back in it. Um, got a hole on the end for the shaft. Actually two holes. I screwed up on the first one so I had to drill a second one and had it too low. A uh, hole cut in the front for the counter. A uh, hole in the top for the uh, potentiometer for the speed control. Uh, by using the half inch MDF I had to uh, counterbore pretty much everything <clears throat> so I had room for the mount everything because most of the stuff is made for mounting in something thinner uh, same way with the uh, motor down here where the motor goes in that hole right there and, uh, screws through the outside here the um, these are the two bearings uh, for the end goes on the inside two flange bearings from McMaster car here's a uh, the motor uh, that's the potentiometer goes into the top and a knob for it came from uh, Radio Shack the um, this is the uh, motor over here which actually came out of a VCR that I was going to sell at a yard sale I said well shoot I'm just going to tear it apart and see if I can use the motor for something and uh, sure enough I turned out where it worked pretty good. It runs off of either 9 volt or could be up to 12 volt. I've been using a 12 volt power supply. Uh, this is the counter. It's a uh, Red Lion uh, Cub 3L counter. Uh, bought it new from Red Lion. $37. Not, pretty, not a bad price. Uh, this is a uh, reed switch that I got off of eBay and the reed switch is used in conjunction with the um, this little wheel right here which goes on the shaft inside and I'll show you when I put it together and right here is a little magnet that came from Radio Shack it's a uh, 3 16 diameter magnet and it's only about a sixteenth of so of an inch thick in fact it came in a pack of two and I had uh, the spare one laying on the table here and I've done lost it so darn tiny but anyway, I made this little wheel out of a piece of uh, quarter inch thick uh, plywood with a hole saw, inch and three quarter uh, diameter hole saw, so it ends up about an inch and a half. Drilled a quarter inch hole in it to mount on the shaft. And by it being made out of wood, it's pretty uh, snug on the shaft, so it turns uh, with the shaft and doesn't spin, so you get an accurate count. And uh, what it does is it passes by the uh, reed switch which is connected to the counter and causes it to count one every time it goes by. Works pretty good. Uh, let's see, that's about it. The uh, the base is this white platform here, also made out of uh, half inch thick MDF, which by the way, I bought a sheet uh, two foot by four foot from the Home Depot, half inch thick MDF. And it's actually enough material to make at least two if not three of these things uh, the way I did the base was made it the same size as the one that the Shatton pickup winders mounts to uh, there's this 5 8 thick melamine this is MDF it is sanded and painted white um, instead of mounting the switch up on top of the box next to the uh, potentiometer I was going to mount a switch there a toggle switch or something I didn't want to have to reach over to cut it off while I was winding um, so I said well I'll mount a switch off to the side in the in the base that way if you're winding with your right hand you can reach over with your left hand and cut the switch off without having to reach up on top of the unit I know the uh, one that Shatton makes has the built in uh, on off switch in the potentiometer which is pretty good uh, but I really couldn't find anything like that also the potentiometer I got is a uh, 25 ohm and uh, bringing it down from full speed it only come down to half speed at the lowest setting so which uh, with the motor and the ratio I got on the uh, little pulley that came on the motor from the uh, 
VCR and I made a little wheel <coughs> uh, made the pulley for the uh, shaft out of a piece of scrap of the half inch MDF cut it out again with the uh, hole saw and then stuck it in the uh, <coughs> excuse me put it on the shaft and stuck it in the uh, drill press and uh, I've got a shop smith so I laid it down and used the lathe part to uh, smooth up the edges and also the uh, one of the uh, uh, chisels lathe chisels to make the groove in it and then sand it up a little bit and it turned out pretty nice and it like again it's snug on the shaft so it doesn't doesn't spin uh, you can turn if you hold it real hard you can turn it on the shaft and when it's running it doesn't slip um, the base going back to the base uh, by mounting the switch here I didn't want any wires or anything underneath so what I did was I got a long uh, drill bit from uh, Lowe's and uh, drilled a hole right there you can see the hole quarter inch diameter diagonally across to where the switch is and it took a little few setups on the uh, horizontal uh, boring machine part of the shopsmith um, keep repositioning and uh, it turned out pretty good and uh, counterboard um, I think it's a one inch hole there almost all the way through but not quite uh, so I'd have a place for to for the wires uh, to come out and go into the switch. The switch is a, uh, I don't know if you can see it very good, it looks a little blurry from my perspective, but um, soldered the wires onto the uh, switch and then uh, put some heat shrink tubing on it and shrunk it. switch came two to a pack so I've got an extra switch um, the switch is uh, just a radio sack sh radio shack uh, slide switch the I don't know what gauge wire I'm using it's something I had here it's um, not stranded solid wire so I had to uh, file and sand the wire down to fit into the little uh, holes in the switch but anyway I soldered them on there use the heat shrink tubing so uh, I'm in the process of getting ready to start reassembling uh, the unit and try it out again it worked uh, good and I took it down to uh, all apart to uh, paint it used uh, white gloss paint for the base and uh, a burgundy paint for the box burgundy is one of my favorite colors could paint it any color so uh, let me start putting it back together <clears throat> 